first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through NAD precursors, because if you're familiar with the concept of boosting NAD, then you'll have definitely come across the term NAD precursors. And basically, an NAD precursor is just the raw material that the body uses to make NAD. And there are five precursors that the body can use to make NAD. There is the amino acid tryptophan, there's nicotinic acid, nicotinamide, which is commonly abbreviated as NAM, which you'll see in my presentation, nicotinamide riboside, or NR, and nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NMN. So the body can use all of these different precursors to make NAD. So because the salvage pathway is the main way that the body produces NAD, I'm just going to explain how the salvage pathway works in a little bit more detail. So basically, you've got precursors here that I've just described. These enter the pathway and then they are converted by enzymatic processes into NAD. Then this NAD is then used up in the cell. So you've got the sirtuins, the PARP DNA repair enzymes, CD38, all of these things are using up NAD and when they use it up, they actually break it down back into the precursor nicotinamide. Now, in a young healthy cell, what happens is this nicotinamide is then effectively recycled back through this process into fresh NAD again. It doesn't need any fresh precursor to come in from outside the system. It basically just gets recycled straight back into NAD. And the important part in this pathway that does it is an enzyme up here called NAMPT. Now, this enzyme is really important because it's what we refer to as a rate limiting enzyme, which basically means that if the levels of this enzyme are directly linked to actually how much NAD is going to produce. So if the levels of this enzyme go down, it's bad because NAD will not be produced as effectively. As we age, what happens is our cells are using more NAD than they can make or recycle. It means there's a deficit and the repair and maintenance processes down here in the cell that are actually dependent on NAD, they have to fight over a limited supply of NAD. This ultimately leads to damage and then to some signs and symptoms of aging. If we go back to the little diagram here, what happens if you just use a supplement such as NR or NMN, a precursor-based supplement, the precursor goes into the cell it does get converted into NAD, which is why you see um, companies that produce these um, molecules show around a 60% increase in NAD boost with these supplements. So you do get an increase in NAD, but this NAD is then used up and it's broken down. And as soon as it's broken down, it's converted into nicotinamide. And if you haven't fixed the underlying problems in the cell, which are causing NAD to decline, namely this reduction in the salvage pathway because of this enzyme that's declined with age, what happens is the cell has to get rid of it. So it methylates it and it excretes it. Then if you just continue pumping more NR or more NMN into the system without trying to fix the salvage pathway, you just keep contributing to the problem because you, your cells are using up this initial boost of NAD, but it's getting converted into nicotinamide. And then the nicotinamide has to get out of the cell. So you get methyl donor depletion. And this is why many practitioners will say to the clients, you need to use um, trimethylglycine or something like that to, to actually stop these negative effects because a depletion in methyl groups is actually really bad for epigenetics because it's very important for altering the structure of your DNA.